Let's take a look at how Sophos Intercept X Advanced Endpoint Protection stacks up against a popular ransomware attack. So we've got an endpoint here with all the protections turned on, and let's see what happens when we try to initiate the attack. This file here is actually just a renamed copy of Microsoft's own PS Exec tool, which is what the attackers use to execute the batch script remotely. Now, as you can see here, we block this by default, but most customers authorize PS Exec globally which leaves them at risk for abuse. So just a reminder to not authorize PSExec if you don't need to use it. So that's been blocked, but let's try to copy these other two files to the temp folder directly from the machine since we're sitting right in front of it. Both are detected and blocked without even getting a chance to execute, and both are cleaned up automatically. Now we're gonna go in and turn all our protections off except ransomware detection and tamper protection. So as you can see, we're now able to copy these two files into the temp directory. And let's run the batch script that sets the ransomware attack in motion. This part attempts to kill processes and services for various security vendors products, including Sophos. It also kills things like SQL and Exchange so that it's able to encrypt databases and Exchange servers for ransom. Then right at the end here, it executes the other file we copied over and decrypts an embedded DLL file that's leveraged by run DLL32.exe to do the encrypting. Our ransomware protection recognizes this behavior as malicious, and as you can see here, stops it. So that will be automatically cleaned up as well, and against our better judgment, let's go back into the settings menu here and turn ransomware detection off. And at this point, we'll see the attack carried out as it would be on an unprotected or underprotected endpoint. These files are encrypted, Here's the ransom note. That's the attack if you're not properly protected.